All right, welcome to another super fun exercise. This is 21008. And you can read it if you want, but the point is this. We're going to have it take a string of inputs, and whatever it's entered, it doesn't do anything except if there is a consecutive integer, then it records, uh, it adds one to the count of consecutive integers. So I think in all that I've been typing down there, I've had like four or five. You exit it with a negative sign, negative four, negative number, and it prints out the count. So this one here, for example, this is not consecutive. This is not consecutive. This is consecutive because there's the same number right before it. So one, two, not consecutive. This is consecutive because there's three. Uh, six before it. So that one's three, which I think it says. The three is the printed thing. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do it. Uh, what do we need to do? We have the scanner objects been declared already, uh, so ignore this. Uh, we need to declare some some integers, some values. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do user says and user said. So that'll come in handy because we're going to keep two at a time. So we're gonna because we need to know if they're the same. So we're going to kind of uh, flip them. We're gonna move them one at a time. Uh, which we'll get into, and then we're going to need a count, and that'll int count. Okay, I'm going to do something a little maybe weird here, but I'm going to set this equal to negative 2, and this one equal to negative 1, and I'll explain why in a second, but first we're going to, to do this, we're going to use a do while loop which is a while loop that is executed at least once. A while loop is not necessarily executed at all. For instance, if this while loop says while user says is greater than one, it would never be entered because user says is never greater than one. But a do while loop will always do what's, what it's told inside the do uh, first and then it won't it will continue only if the while so it's helpful if you want it to run at least once which in this case we do I don't think there's a case where you can't make a while loop work but a do while loop helps uh, for ease now what do we want to do we want to let's check for the count to see if they're the same we want to do this first we want to check if user says equals user said and we want to check it first before we actually get a, a real value we're going to check these dummy values we want to check it first because if it's if they enter a negative number first we want to kill the loop right away so we don't want to check it before we check the wildness of it so if they're equal, then count plus equals one. Um, good. Now the next thing we want to do is change to, to backtrack, to begin the transition from user said, from user says to user said. So this moves it into the past. So what the user, what the user said last time, what the user what do we got? User says. The user says it becomes the user said it. And we need to do that first before we let the user say something or we'll lose what the user says if that doesn't make your brain hurt. But this comes from the input. Next int. Um, so to return to this, the reason I did this first, they're not the same, so it doesn't cause this to go up. 
And second, they're both negative. So the user the first time, the, not here, the user the first time can't say that. So if I said a positive number, then the user could possibly guess right and they would the count would go up. It should never go up with the first one because there is no value before it in the real the real numbers. While user what what is the while? While user says is greater than zero. I think greater or equal to zero. And we need a semicolon after that. And I think this might be good. And it is not. Why is it not good? If user says Do you see it? User says User said int Oh! Because count needs to be initialized to zero. Did you catch that? You're better than me, maybe. Let's try it. So if we enter one three times, the second two will be repeat. So there should be a two. Oh, I didn't print it out, did I? After the while loop, we want to system.out.print. Uh, what? Count. Let's try this again. So, one, one, one should give us a two. Let's try one more for no reason at all. Let's try two, three, three, four. Should just give us one, because that second three was the only... Gives us one. So our complete answer is this. Thank you.